Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. It's been a while but I'm back with another video. This video is about snacks for Ramadan. Now I know these are all fried items and they're not the healthiest options but to have them once in a while I think that's alright. So let's move on to the video. Hope you all enjoy watching. The first two recipes are from my mother-in-law. One is the Sri Lankan pasto and the other one is called water and the third one is a snack that I prepared last year during Ramadan but for some reason I was not able to upload it so I thought of uploading it in this video pasto it's a patty with a tripe filling it is very popular in Sri Lanka I'll be putting the measurements down in the description box to prepare the dry spice powder into a pan add one tablespoon raw rice 4 to 5 dried red chilies, 1 teaspoon each of fennel seeds, cumin seeds and coriander seeds, 1 tablespoon of peppercorn, 1 tablespoon of grated coconut. If you do not find grated coconut, you can always use desiccated coconut. 2 to 3 cinnamon sticks and a handful of curry leaves. Roast them well till it forms a dry mixture and leave it aside to cool down before you grind it. Here the tripe is pressure cooked with 1 teaspoon of turmeric, salt to taste, 1 cinnamon stick, a handful of curry leaves, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. When the tripe is halfway done, add chopped potatoes into it and then cook under pressure for another 2 to 3 whistles. Now moving on to preparing the mixture, here we have got 1 onion finely chopped, 1 tomato finely chopped, 3 to 4 green chilies according to your spice level. So into a pan add oil, once the oil is heated add the chopped onions, let the onions cook well. When the onions turn soft and salt, Add the tomatoes and green chilies. Give it a mix and let it cook. When the onions and tomatoes are cooked, add 2 teaspoons of unroasted curry powder and then add 1 and a half to 2 teaspoons of chili powder. Again, this depends on your spice level. Give it a mix and then add the cooked tripe and potato mixture. Give them all a good mix. If you find the mixture is too dry and catching at the bottom of the pan, add a bit of water. Add enough salt as per your taste. Then add the grounded roasted spices. Give it a mix and at last add around 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Mix them well. And the filling is ready. Now moving on to preparing the dough. Here she has used a large quantity, so into a bowl added 6 cups of flour, 100 grams of butter, 2 cups of water, 200 grams of grated coconut and salt as per taste. Knead it well until it forms a soft dough. Leave it aside to rest for around 15 to 20 minutes. and then follow these steps to make the pasta.
I just wanted to give it a try uh, using the air fryer but it was not the crispiest and therefore we decided to fry it in oil. And here you go, the pastels are ready. And this is how the fried pasta looks like in hot oil and this is how the air fried pasta looks like. Now next is something we call as water. For this to prepare the filling, she used 3 onions finely chopped, 2 tomatoes diced, a handful of curry leaves, here we have used dried curry leaves ginger garlic paste and grated coconut now into a pan add oil once the oil is heated add the curry leaves and the onions when the onions are soft add salt continue cooking add tomatoes when the tomatoes are soft, add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of red chili flakes or you can again adjust according to your spice level, 1 teaspoon of pepper powder, 1 teaspoon of chili powder. We like our snacks quite spicy and hence so much spice but you can always adjust according to your spice level and one teaspoon of roasted curry powder once the spices are mixed well add the canned tuna here we have used two tuna tins mix it well and let it cook for around one minute and then add the grated coconut Mix well At last add 1 tablespoon of lemon juice Give it a mix And the filling is ready now again to prepare the dough she has used a large quantity so eight cups of flour salt as per taste for that she used 250 grams of butter and around two and a half cups of water Knead it into a soft dough and leave it aside for around 15 to 20 minutes and follow these steps to make the water. I have half fried all the vadas so that I can freeze them and use it whenever I need. I have portioned it out and then stored them in freezer bags and ziploc bags to be used whenever I need them.
Now I also just wanted to show you with the water. This was frozen and I've defrosted it. One I've used to fry in the air fryer. And this is how it looks. And the other one I deep fried. There's not much of a difference. Um, yes, the deep fried one is a lot more crispier. But the air fried one was quite good as well. Moving on to preparing the dough for the Punjabi Alu Samosa. Into a bowl add 3 cups of flour, salt as quad and around 1 teaspoon or 1 and a half teaspoon of carom seeds or ajwain seeds. Add around 6 teaspoons of ghee. Now just give it a mix and then add lukewarm water. Knead it to form a dough that's not very soft like a chapati dough. The dough should be a bit tight. I couldn't find the initial video of the mixture. Into a pan, add around 1 tablespoon of ghee. Once the ghee is heated, add cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon. And when the seed starts to splutter, add the potatoes. These are potatoes that are boiled and mashed. To that, add all the spices. So here I've used around 1.5 teaspoons of dry mango powder or armchur powder, 2 teaspoons of chili powder but adjust according to your spice level one and a half teaspoons of coriander powder i've used half a teaspoon of chaat masala but this is optional i've then added one and a half teaspoon of garam masala one teaspoon of dry pomegranate powder or anardana powder and salt as per taste give them all a mix and at last add around one tablespoon of crushed coriander seeds Now the mixture is ready, leave it aside. Now let's move on to making the samosas. It is definitely a bit harder to roll this compared to the normal chapati or roti that we make. Roll it into some sort of a circle and then cut it in half. Take one half and apply water all around. Now apply water onto three sides and fold it as such open it up like a corn put in the filling and seal it from the bottom once the samosas are ready you can deep fry it, you can even use the air fryer. It's best enjoyed with a mint and coriander chutney and also a tamarind sauce. And that's it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Stay home, stay safe and till I see you again, take care, bye bye.